My name is Jehu Garcia. I'm a business owner, self-professed engineer, and an overall dreamer. For the past two years, I've been building my dream car, something that retains all the elegance of the classic 50s design, but at the same time make up the latest the modern technology offers. Now, how do you exactly do that? By making it electric. Follow me on my journey through all the struggles, the challenges, but ultimately the satisfaction of growth and success. All right, guys, you guys are all wondering what has happened with the Samba. Yes, what's happening with the Samba? Well, today I'm gonna give you a quick update. Well, the Samba is ready for another challenge. We're gonna do an even longer trip than we did last time. And this time is going to be 266 miles to Lake Havasu, Arizona, where the yearly Buses by the Bridge show is happening in just, what, two, three days? The challenge is to get there, charge along the way, and then make it there. So, there's a lot of things that have to happen to prepare ourselves for this trip. In homage to the roadkill guy, we have made a uh, lift here on our cardboard. The first thing we have to do is remove the roof rack because uh, once we're looking at the map, we're barely, barely gonna be making it between the charge points. And so that roof rack, all it's doing is adding uh, weight and it's adding drag to our bus. So we, that has to come off. Another thing that we have to do is install uh, some kind of heating system because my wife and my dogs are going with me this time around and it has been really cold for us. Well, you know, for us Californians here, it's really cold. Putting a heater that will try to heat the air on this thing that has a bunch of holes everywhere, it's just not feasible and it's gonna be a bunch of wasted energy. So what I thought to do was to do the same thing that I have on Chevy Volt and just put some heating pads on the actual seats. And so we're gonna be installing those. Those pull very little, they're like about five amps uh, per seat. And so those will keep us warm while we're going on the night trip, of, uh, section of the trip. We also have to cover some of the air that's coming in. Uh, and one of the big things that these cars have is a big giant vent on, on the front. And so we have to cover that up. I got a very ingenious way to do that. Here's our, here's our quick tip. We also have to reset the Android dashboard app. That's the app uh, and the tablet that's on top of my thing here so that it shows me how much battery I have. Recently, it got out of sync. Uh, it's showing me that I have more energy than the battery had and as a result of that uh, a couple of days ago while we were testing things out we went down to san marcos california and we got stranded without any energy because i thought I, we still had a you know half the pack left but we didn't so uh, we're gonna have to reset that system so that it accurately shows us just how much energy we have left on the on the batteries So another thing that we have to do is plan our route. We are going to check out just where the charging points are at. I'm gonna try to charge against in RV parks because they have the biggest plugs that can deliver the, the most amount of juice with the NEMA 1450s that are very common on the RVs. And the first one, we're actually gonna spend the night there. So we're actually gonna camp there. We're gonna RV essentially. And so I have to call in ahead of time today and set them up and ask them, you know, to make sure, kind of reserve a thing so that once we get there late at night, we have a spot that we can use. Uh, we also have to check like elevation and range, and we want to track it so that we can let everyone know where we're going to be at and roughly at estimated times so that they want to join us and stuff. I also just bought these uh, 60 mile range little radios. We're going to be broadcasting in channel 10. Um, so if any of the other buses that are going to be taking the same route, you, you know, you can reach us there and if we fall into trouble, we're going to be asking for help on that on channel 10. We also have to update the 12 volt battery. We remember in our last trip to Solving, um, 
we had to stop for a couple of hours until the sun came out because my 12 volt battery was completely drained. The uh, headlights and the radio were pulling a lot of power and I ran out of juice before uh, I can turn them off. So I'm gonna upgrade it by adding more batteries to that and adding more range. Um, we did a test and with all the systems on, fully operational, with the maximum amount of energy drawn, it only lasted about three hours and 20 minutes. We need to a little bit more than that just to be on the safe side. And then we have to charge that battery today before we take off tomorrow so that we leave with a fully charged 12 volt battery also. Another thing that we wanted to do was try to increase the odds of us making it. And so what I wanted to do was try to get a range extender pack. My idea was to put a couple of more of these 18650 modules in a little trailer and then tow it behind it and then that way we could make it like the whole trip in one shot. But I wasn't able to get my hands on these modules and so the backup plan for that was just to get an extra charger so that even though we have to stop and charge along the way, then we can charge quicker than what we do with the five kilowatt charger that I currently have. Um, that also didn't pan out due to time constraints as I kind of didn't think about this until you know the last couple of days and it takes about a week to order a charger. Um, so what we're down to is try to get my batteries, you know, all those batteries that I spent all that time recycling and testing and stuff, I don't have enough to make a full pack, but I do have enough to make a range extender pack, something that will give me about an extra 10 to 50 miles. And so even though we're kind of running out of time here, we only have about 24 to 25, you know, I don't know, 30 hours before we leave, um, I'm gonna attempt to put that together and see if we can throw it in here and, you know, just give us the extra 10 to 50 miles that we might need to make it uh, on this trip. So it sounds like we have a lot of work ahead of us. Let's get going. Let's just get through this thing because uh, we don't have a lot of time. All right, guys, it looks like it's going to be an all-nighter. Will I get this uh, module done? I don't know. Let's see. I think we need these extra 10 to 50 miles just to make every charge point on the way. Uh, so we'll see. We always tend to leave this stuff all to the very end. Uh, every trip is almost the same thing. So let's hope we make it this time around. All right, guys. So stay tuned. It's always an adventure with the Samba. Uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching. For more info on the featured stories on this video, make sure to click on the links found on the description section below. Please make sure to comment and share and check out the other series of videos on my channel.